Hello everybody, it's Mario. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another D23 exclusive item. And as most of you know, this Mulan set is probably the most popular one out of the entire convention. It is part of the Folktale series designer line, which is a whole new uh, concept for the designer dolls. And this one was so hard to get. We thought we were never gonna get it because the lines were so crazy and it was so busy to get this one. And we lined up all night so I'm so happy that we have it. It's amazing. Like an incredibly detailed set. So let's get to it. I also want to point out really quickly that I was able to meet Steve Thompson. He is the designer for pretty much all the limited edition designer dolls. And I was able to get him to sign the lithograph of Mulan for me. And out of all of the lithographs, I chose this one just because this doll is so special. And it's probably one of my favorite all time designer dolls. So I had him sign it. So let's get to it guys. Right on the top of the box, we see the designer collection logo, which is again, the new setup for the line. And this one is part of the Folktale series. And this Mulan set is very special. There's only 523 of them and that's why it was hard to get. Here you can see the art, which is gorgeous. And it says Mulan and Li Shang. When you turn the box to the side, you pretty much have the same image and it says the name right on the top, Disney Store exclusive. Very beautiful. The back of the box, we have a quick description. You can go ahead and pause that if you like to read it. It's in English and in French. And going down, it just points out some of the details. It has the companion, which is Mushu, fox leather, fox, fox, I don't know how to say it, but fake leather scales. <laughs> um, there's just a lot of details and it includes the flag. The sword is amazing. Gold embroidery all over the place. And you guys will see all of that. The retail price is 129 and 95 cents. And as you guys see, here's my certificate and I have number 249 out of 523. Pretty cool number. Here we see them in the plastic case and I'm gonna go ahead and remove that so we can appreciate all the details of this beautiful set. Oh my God, you guys, this set is incredible. Like there's no way that pictures or videos do it justice. Even their makeup is like, on point this set is incredible and i hope that i can cover all the details for you but i know i'm gonna mess up and miss something but it's incredible let's first start with her face first of all i love the simplicity and i love the fact that she doesn't have eyelashes i know people go crazy for eyelashes but i love this her eyebrows are thick her eyes are beautifully painted there's even different shades to it her lips are like skin color normal color they didn't put makeup on her or anything and it's perfect because this is like when she's trying to be a boy you know pretending to be a boy her hair is very short and it's styled so nicely i just love it Mulan's cape has a yellow rhinestone and it's very nice it's almost a gold color the cape is like an olive green it goes all the way to the bottom and when you turn it it's this different material it's very nice it's a lighter more on the blue side kind of color and it's attached right there to her outfit. Right on the top, you can see um, that she actually has the scales and it's all kind of like a fake leather material. Her sleeves are also amazing. Like, um, it just looks like armor, really. There's a lot of embroidery work right there on the belt. It's almost like a flower, three flowers, really. And the, the middle one is really big, but you can't see it because she has a rope wrapped around it, which is also extremely detailed. Now, one of the favorite things about this set for me and most people is the sword. Look at the sword, it is incredible. It has a red rhinestone on it, it has the shape of a dragon, it's just amazing. And it's painted very well as well. Here we can see her outfit. Again, everything's strapped down together, so you're gonna miss some details, but she also has the little, it's like little medals at the end of the rope. We see more of the scales going on. And the layer right below it has gold embroidery on it, which is beautiful. And again, it's attached to the cape, so you can't really see most of it, but you get the point. It's really just gorgeous. There we can see her pants, and they are black with her boots. And again, they're painted very well. They have a little bit of like dirt from the snow on it, which is a nice touch. And here we have Mushu. He is attached to her shoulder, so he won't go anywhere. The face paint on him is amazing. It's, he's so tiny and detailed. Um, I don't know how they got all of that on there, but he looks amazing. His face is annoyed. I love him. Now we have Li Shang, and as you guys see, his hair is sculpted. 
His face is amazing. The camera does not pick it up, but he is contoured. <laughs> and I know me and my friends were making fun of that, but he has contour on that face. Like they went in with the details on him. His eyes are amazing. The eyebrows are really, really big. He looks awesome. <laughs> As I said, the hair is sculpted. It's very nice. He has a ponytail on the back with a red um, scrunchie, if you want to call it that. And you can't see it because he's attached to the box. His outfit is incredibly detailed as well, and it looks very realistic. As you can see, his burgundy cape is attached to the actual outfit, but you could take it off if you like. The chest part is really cool and it matches the sleeves. As you can see, it's that leather material. He also has a lot of gold embroidery going around. His pants are gray, you can see them down there. And I love this like padding um, leather-like material they used. There we go, more burgundy with the black and the gold embroidery. His shoes are his shoes <laughs> are amazing too. They also look a little bit worn out, like they've been at war. So that's a really nice touch. I love this touch. They actually added the flag, and as you can see, it's very well painted. You can see a little dragon up there, and then there's a dragon on it. This whole time I actually thought that it was made out of cardboard, but it's not. It's actual fabric. It's an orange reddish color. The flag is detailed all the way to the bottom, it's painted gold and it has a little like uh, rope around it. It's really amazing that they did this. One of the really cool things about this new designer set is that the boxes are bigger than they were before, which gives them room to, to play with it. So they've added all these cardboard pieces uh, and it looks like snow, so it gives you the feel of a scene. So I feel like this, this set in particular is more of a scene depicted rather than a designer version of it, which I love. I think this is amazing. Alrighty, my friends, well, that is all for this video. I just want to say that Steve Thompson and Disney Store did an incredible job with this set, and it's my absolute favorite, not only because it's beautiful and highly detailed, but also because of what it represents. I just love seeing Mulan as a warrior, and I think this is the direction that they're taking now. They're going to show her more as a warrior because they are making the live-action movie, and it's going to be a war movie, and it's going to be amazing. So I'm so happy to own this set. I'm so lucky and blessed that I got it because it was very hard to get. So I'm very happy. I hope you guys enjoyed my review. I hope that I didn't miss too much. So again, thank you guys for subscribing and following me and being so supportive. I love you all and see you all on my next video. Bye-bye.